that um, we're all deeply shocked and very saddened at the, the loss of life uh, in the Lebanon of one of our peacekeepers uh, and another um, injured. Um, it, it is a reminder to us of the extraordinary sacrifice that our peacekeepers make on a constant basis. Uh, they operate in at times hostile and very difficult um, and dangerous environments and we should always be conscious of that. Uh, I was in the Lebanon myself in May, would have met with many of our soldiers there. Uh, we work with the Polish uh, soldiers in, in, in the battalion. Uh, our deepest sympathies go to the family uh, of the soldier that we've lost. Um, our thoughts are with the, the, the family today because this is the worst possible news for them um, at this time of the year. Um, and um, you know, our peacekeepers, I think, distinguish Ireland overseas. Uh, I think they bring great, great dignity uh, to the country um, and it is very, very sad that uh, we have this news this morning that in a very serious incident uh, one of our peacekeepers has been killed and another injured uh, and, um, and, and with, with some others also. But um, uh, the, our, our thoughts and I've been speaking to the Chief of Staff and I've been speaking to Minister Coveney um, as well uh, and our thoughts are with his colleagues. Uh, who have served with him in the Lebanon um, and every support that we can give will be offered and will be made available uh, and we will um, uh, work with the Chief of Staff and his team now in terms of helping the families to, to, to deal with what is a, a shocking loss for them and a very traumatic situation for all concerned.